We've been patient, but our patience is wearing thin. And your refusal has cost all of us. People who are incubators for every variant to come, walking around lawfully unvaccinated? That's psychotic. For the unvaccinated, you're looking at a winter of severe illness and death. For yourselves, your families, and the hospitals you may soon overwhelm. About this, in a world of threats and tyrants and terror, you know what our biggest enemy is in America? Our fellow Americans. They are the ones that are propagating this outbreak. Being frustrated that there is still a percentage of the population are, who are not vaccinated. I wish that he would go further to restrict mm. the activities of the unvaccinated. Vaccinated person having a heart attack? Yes, come right on in. We'll take care of you. Unvaccinated guy who gobbled horse goo? Rest in peace, Wheezy. You're... That's... I mean... That 25% can cause a lot of damage, and they are. If you're willing to walk among us unvaccinated, you are an enemy. Well, you know, it's my rights. and but Okay. <laughs> but I don't care. The pandemic of the unvaccinated. Well, look, the only pandemic we have is among the unvaccinated. And, that, and, they're, and they're killing people. Freedom not to follow the facts, even if your freedom kills people? What kind of freedom is that? What kind of freedom do they really want? We have pandemic because of the unvaccinated and they're enormous confusion. The unvaccinated overcrowd our hospitals, are overrunning emergency rooms and intensive care units, leaving no room for someone with a heart attack or pancreatitis or cancer. Shouldn't they have to pay more into the system because they are collapsing our health system? They're the ones in the ERs. Require vaccination universally. Have the military run it. If you don't want to get vaccinated, you better be ready to prove your conscientious objector status in court. It's almost like it's going to be two Americas.